To be fair, I the mean, only top 100 player he played was Pew Pew Yu, who he lost to. Yes, yes. So you know, Fruit Loop, an amazing player in his own in his own right. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, it, it's not out of the question that he could uh, beat SJ. By no means. Yeah, SJ uh, known as we've spoken about to not be a big fan of the Sheik matchup. So he doesn't do terrible. No, he doesn't. By any he means. He was about to be yeah. Swedish. Okay, catches the jump. Again, reads it. Oh, man. Too high of a percentage to push him all the way off stage, though. That could have been huge. Anytime you knock Falcon below stage as Sheik, that's, that's beautiful. That's, that's exactly that's what you want. want. Yeah. And Fruit Loop as a player, I, I would say he's, he's most known for his uh, fundamentals. Oh, yeah. He, uh, I can agree with that. He plays... He's, he's switched through uh, multiple mains throughout his career. Yeah. He's, he's been a Falco. He's been a Marth. Now he's a Sheik. He had a Fox phase. I can't believe you knew about the, the Fruit Loop Marth phase. That's a pretty short one. <laughs> His Marth phase came because of me, dude. <laughs> we talked about it, and I kept calling him Marth the best carry. He's like, well, you're right. Yeah, I guess, you know, I got to give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. I brainwashed oh, him. Oh, okay. Good deal. Oh, no. Fast ball. All right. All right. Bit of a, an error by Fruit Loop to drop that second stock. Um, a couple times now he's gone for that jump read with the Nair. SJ oh. fell for it once or twice, and he started getting punished now for it immediately. Yeah, this is rough right now. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly the DI he needed on that second one. I think Fruitloo thought that the second up air was reversed because he DI'd the first one in. But SJ swung some momentum just enough. Ooh. That's just, that's been happening all day. Like that's how he lost his Swedish set. Yeah. Where he like uh, just misjudges his up B's like by down. a lot. He wanted yeah. to time it perfectly. But. Hard knees on shield. One thing I'll, I'll give SJ credit for is uh, oh oh Whoa. never mind. That that's was a good recovery right there. Super good recovery. I thought for a second it was a great trick by Fruit Loop, right? Yeah. It looked like that he was, was gonna hit him and then he snuck the ledge. So what I was gonna say is uh, a lot of Falcons have a have a hard time. Um, getting either getting weak knee on shield, they get weak knee on shield instead of uh, hard knee, yeah. which is a lot worse. And it's like shield grabbable. SJ's really good at making sure he gets the hard knee. He gets the time right. Ouch. And that's going to be the game. That is a three stock. I am shocked that Philip actually struck the FD to begin with. That's generally a counterpick stage for Falcon in the matchup. Anytime sure. Falcon pushes Sheik up in the air, sure. she doesn't have platforms to escape to. It can be a really <laughs> Some, I mean, bad time. Look, this matchup is gradually changing, I think. Yep. Um, and I think one thing that, that helps is I think that Falcon really does well on Stadium and NFT. He really does. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my God. And he doesn't even do that bad here. I don't care what anyone says. I, I see uh, SJ play this, this stage, and it's like, man, this guy's... This, right, yeah. Is Falcon actually might win here? <laughs> the way SJ plays it. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. Might be a bit of an like, exaggeration, but, but he but makes it look that way, right? He's got counterpicks of his own, and, and so does Sheik, so... No. This is a counterpick heavy matchup. Hmm. Ooh, is it nice. back here? You saw that? That was quick. That, the, the platform that going down definitely helped him. Yeah. Ah, uh, he tries to guess. Yeah, not the best. Coverage. Yeah. Alright, dashes away. More Nairs. Really impressed by SUJ's evasiveness right now. Not allowing himself to get pushed in any corner or locked down, which is usually the struggle that Falcon has, you know. Uh, he has difficulty navigating those weird platforms. Ooh, good job by Fruit But he's the one who's really been in control so far this entire game. Oh, oh that was nice. My man got dashed in. That, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Fruit Loop went to the call out. I, I think you're going to be here. Uh, nope. Okay. No, yeah. you're not. That stock's gone. <laughs> And if you guys want a, a clip to, deter, to to really describe the power of dash dancing in melee, that'll do it. Yeah. Oh, Falcon actually has a pretty good reverse yeah, grab. Just knowledge right there. Knowing that that'll work. Mm -hmm. and it's good too, because like even if you went for an air out shield, it's definitely not as good as getting a, a grab at that percentage. So always trying to look for the optimal out of shield punish. Fruit Loop top finally on the board. Yeah. Let's see if he can avoid another three stock. <laughs> hmm. That was a really well spaced down tilt, actually. Yeah. I don't know if Fruit Loop could have punished that. That was actually a pretty decent dash dance from Fruit Loop as well. But he doesn't act out of it quickly enough. Oh my god. Not the greatest DI either. No. I think, again, I think he might have been going for the DI down tech. That's what I always like to, uh, you know, give players the benefit of the doubt at least. So that's what they were going for. Yeah, absolutely. She'll drop back here. she has been learning that over time. Oh. Hold, hold. Roll on. Very nice. 
<laughs> Trying to get creative. Definitely up three stocks to one right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The confirm off the back here for the double three stock. Two sets, both not close so far. No. Nope. We're at top 32, but uh, some of these players are showing themselves a class above the rest. Some people may have gotten more sleep than others. Uh, it's definitely 4 o'clock. There's no excuses at this point. <laughs> <laughs> if, if top players are complaining about a 4 o'clock start, I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave the community. Right. I'm just like, all right, we're out of here. Talk to the Smash 4 players about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, let's yeah. Yeah, you don't really like, have room to like, complain. No, understand their pain. Yeah, right. Yeah. They're the ones who have uh, a valid complaint. Yeah, yeah. Up next, oh, here one we go. of these players. Here this this one's going to be a little bit closer, in my opinion. I should hope so. Yeah. One of these players is going to get 25th. That's insane One to me. One of these players. That's is insane to me. Now, just by the Falco spamming, I think you guys can figure out who one of them is. <laughs> well, maybe not because he hasn't been using Falco very much. That's true. That's a good point. Uh, it is West and West Balls Dennis, formerly of uh, Temple Storm, now sponsored by G2. Yes. Him and his good, and his friend uh, SUJ end up doing a little swap. Yeah, a little uh, sponsor swap. Yeah. A little sponsor swap. Very hey. nice. Very nice. Um, and uh, he's facing against SFAT of uh, Counter Launch Gaming. Yes. So uh, Knocked into losers. By this, Judat yesterday. This, not only, of course, would be a really poor placing for either of these players. Oh. I mean, tying with Fruit Loop, tying with Smash God, not, not usually what they're used to. Real quick, let me interject.